One name comes up time and time again when discussing the extraordinary price history of Tesla stock and the factors that have influenced buying and selling over the last five years. Kathy Wood. Kathy Wood is an expert at forecasting the performance of Tesla stocks. She is a fervent supporter of Tesla and an optimistic investor ever since the company's initial public offering IPO. But Kathy Wood has been selling her Tesla stock lately. Kathy Wood's company, ARK Investment, sold over 33,000 of her Tesla shares. This goes against what Kathy has been advocating. She recently said that the price of Tesla's shares would increase to roughly $3,000. Why is she selling therefore, and what does this indicate for optimistic Tesla buyers? Watch this space to discover out. Kathy Wood is the managing director of ARK Investment Management, a fund headquartered in New York that, as of the end of the third quarter of 2021, had over $41 billion in assets under management. Uh, over the years, uh, Wood has developed a reputation for making investments in cutting edge, rapidly expanding businesses. In an effort to bounce back from a challenging 2021, Kathy Wood's ARC funds have been loading up on Palantir and Teladoc shares in the new year instead of more Tesla stock. The reason behind Kathy Wood's uh, share sale has investors wondering. The famous stock picker dumped additional Tesla shares as it surged following the electric vehicle maker's big fourth quarter deliveries, according to her trading newsletter. Uh, beginning with the first trading day of January, the investment firm sold 39000 262 shares from two of ARC's ETFs for around $45 million. Even while the company's three funds, which include the flagship ARC Innovation ETF, still have the electric vehicle manufacturer as their biggest wager, Woods Firm made millions of dollars in 2021 from Tesla stock. Um, it is a little unclear what this means. Wood earlier projected that by 2025, a single Tesla share will be worth $3,000, over the past 12 months, the stock has increased by almost 57. Additionally, ARK Invest at ETS have piled onto shares of Teladoc, a virtual health provider that has dropped 50 60 in the past year. In the new year, the corporation acquired around 80,000 shares on January 3rd. Uh, although none of the ARK Invest staff have provided us with an explanation, Wood said in a blog post dated December 2021 that tech companies in ARK's portfolio, like Teladoc, are in a deep value zone. As of 2022, that's all we have heard from ARK Invest. Uh, additionally, ARK bought stock in Peter Thiel's analytics startup, Palantir. ARK Invest around $80, two cents, million dollars, or roughly 442,456 shares in total based on the January 3rd opening price. Uh, other note where the New Year's trades included ARK selling 309,577 shares of social media firm Twitter and buying 345,771 shares of commission free trading software Robinhood is Kathy Wood selling Tesla stock in order to add more variety to her investment portfolio. Uh, Wood became well known in 2020 uh, when her flagship fund amassed more than $17 billion in assets under management the year before with gains of 150. However, the fund has dropped by almost 27 since then. Wood uh, maybe attempting to take a different approach by diversifying her portfolio by selling her Tesla shares. It's common knowledge that situations call for adjustments and Kathy Wood might be carrying that out right now. However, this is not her first sale. Since the beginning of September, when its shares started to increase, ARK Invest Exchange traded funds have been selling Tesla stock, which has helped Wood's fund make money. When Tesla stock outperforms for a predetermined amount of time, Wood is known to sell it since holding onto the stock would be poor portfolio management. Since September 2021, ARK Invest has made money with Tesla by selling more over $3 billion worth of stock after years of accumulating shares at much cheaper prices. As you can see, ARK Invest by Kathy Wood has been active for a while. The sale didn't happen this year and all the signs point to a diversified portfolio. For instance, after Zoom's appalling performance in November, ARK Invest traded Tesla shares to expand their ownership in Zoom. Flagship ARK Innovation ETF bought $112 million worth of Zoom stock and sold $136 million worth of Tesla shares. The fund bought $22 worth of Zoom and sold $23 million worth of Tesla in the ARK Next Generation Internet ETF. In order to spend more money on faltering stocks like Coinbase and Robinhood and to maintain her fervently optimistic view of disruptive technology, in spite of growing skepticism on Wall Street, Kathy Wood's ARK Invest sold off a substantial portion of her holdings in Tesla in October 2021. 
offloading more than $600 in shares. The business fund sold an additional 381,000 shares of Tesla that month for a stake valued at approximately $297, according to Arc's daily transaction records. After a spike in Tesla sales that year, the company has continued to sell the vehicles for a while. According to Wood, she enjoys trading around stock market volatility, taking advantage of cheap prices to buy and holding on to profits when she believes they will rise. Her last statement in which she expressed no expectation that price of Tesla stock will decline may have investors alarmed. Wood has stuck to her prediction that a Tesla would cost $300 by 2025. Tesla recorded over 936,000 deliveries of electric vehicles in 2021, indicating that business was doing well. 2022 is predicted to be even better. Tesla has had an incredible year. I'm purchasing $1. Five cents billion dollar with Bitcoin to partnering with Hertz to assist the business surpass the one dollar trillion dollar market valuation. Afterwards, it enabled strong delivery numbers by handling supply chain interruptions better than any of its competitors. In 2021, Musk sold billions of his shares. The car maker was certainly in the news. Uh, Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, claimed to be almost finished selling his company's stock, uh, having sold almost fifteen billion dollars worth since early November. Regarding the completion of his stated goal of selling 10 of his Tesla shares, the billionaire has made contradictory statements. Musk announced on November 6, 2021, uh, that if his Twitter followers approved, he would sell 10 of his stock. Elon Musk exercises options, which were set to expire later this year, to pay taxes. And shortly after that, Tesla's shares, which were on the verge of reaching all-time highs, saw an almost 25 decline in value. 2021, Musk moved the company's headquarters from California to Texas, although he also attacked California for its high taxes and excessive regulations. According to several analysts, 2022 will be good for Tesla because of growing demand in China, which could lead to a, a roughly 30 increase in the company's stock price. Tesla is in a strong position going into 2022 because Musk and the company have handled supply concerns better than any other automaker in the world over the past six months. Uh, as part of the biggest change in the auto industry since the 1950s, electric cars are expected to take a significant stride forward in pushing customer acceptance in this green tidal wave with many winners. Uh, this year will mark an inflection point for the industry. China, which will account for 40 of Tesla's deliveries in 2022, is a key component of the company's bull thesis. It is the biggest market for high-end luxury cars selling enormous volumes of the greatest Mercedes, BMW, Audi, and other models. Porsche, among other brands, would anticipate in her company's most recent analysis that when additional electric cars hit the market, Tesla's market share will decrease. However, Tesla's share of the world's sales of electric vehicles is either staying the same or rising, giving ARC the assurance to be even more bullish about Tesla. Conversely, GM sales decreased by 218,195 units from the prior year to 44,697 units in the third quarter of 2021. We think Tesla will do well there. Uh, for Tesla and other automakers, the scarcity of chip components is still a problem, but it will pass. The opening of the two gigafactories in Berlin and Austin which will release Tesla from its global production limits by the end of 2022, is the second factor contributing to the company's success in 2022. Consequently, it is predicted that Tesla can produce close to 2 million devices annually, although supply chain issues hindered Tesla's growth in terms of total units in 2021. This dynamic is anticipated to significantly improve in the next years with 1.4 to 1.5 million units potentially within reach annually in 2022. At its gigafactories in Berlin and Texas, Tesla also plans to increase production of those 4,680 battery cells to a high level. Meanwhile, the automaker continues to buy as many battery cells from suppliers as possible. Uh, we think that in 2022, uh, its cell production will be revolutionary. In the next few years, Tesla anticipates growing by 50, and in the next two, that percentage may even be surpassed. Volume and revenue will increase and margins will continue to rise. Naturally, it is impossible to wager against Elon Musk. Tesla is working on a number of products and projects that can support these goals. What makes you believe Kathy Wood is getting rid of her Tesla stock? Please leave a comment below.